This is my village experience. I'm your host, Mesa Sar. Welcome. And so after having talked about live with mindfulness, awareness, learn to gain experience and live the full scope from your awareness, from these experiences that you gain in life. And now comes the part to love, because I think the human being has realized the self, recognized the world, recognized the external. I think the follow up is to love and it is not the kumbaya type of I love you, you love me, we live forever, we are so happy, you know, that feeling of euphoria. But it is much more the love from knowledge, the love knowing that this person has feelings, this world has feelings because their impacts, their repercussions. So it is the love that comes with knowledge, the love that comes with acknowledgement of the others. And when you acknowledge the others, that's when you start taking the others as yourself. And when you start to take the others as yourself, you you respect people. You respect simply the fact that they are human beings. I think that the whole universe deserves respect. So that when you act towards anyone, any human being or creature, that you do so with respect. Because respect is just acknowledgement of others' presence. So when you acknowledge, you acknowledge with you acknowledge from experience. So you acknowledge with basically knowledge. So when you love it is that you encompass the other two, which brings us to compassion. Your compassion is knowing the self, the awareness that you have, taking the others as you and being at least trying to be in their shoes. And I think it doesn't mean necessarily to do what everyone wants. You know, it, it doesn't work like that. It's not like you will just go and approve of anything that anyone does. No, it's much more of when you recognize the other to to be able to at least try to communicate with the other from their perspective because they would put your perspective and whatever you are trying to explain to, to the other is your perspective too. But your compassion is giving them that time to explain, even in that time, even for you to explain yourself, thus exchange perspectives. And I think just by that, which is the whole idea of the My Village experience, the experience is written with a three, is these three, which to live, to learn and to love. So when you love, you love with compassion. You love, you include the others uh, in you. And you know that to make it better for all of us is to simply try try your best that whatever you have that you can share, that you share with others and not wait for anything from people. Because when you start waiting for something from people, it's your expectations of them. It's not the reality. These people might not feel of how you were uh, describing them this is from your reality your own experience of life and the experiences that you had or a bringing or any other human factor and so this realization i think is the basis of living now mindfully so if there is a take out of this series it is to live mindfully to be aware of the self to be aware of our actions to be aware even of our body language to be simply aware so to live mindful of each time of the temperature, you will see that your idea or, or your experience of life or your experience even of difficulties, let's say, it, of these difficulties would start to change because it's all about your mindset. The temperature doesn't change when you feel happier than yesterday rather than today or today rather than tomorrow or any other day. Now the temperature or the, the environment does what it does. But it is you, how you take it one day rather than the other one. That's the whole difference. That's where the old difference, uh, that's where all differences lie. So you show it's your state of mind makes you, apart from uh, other factors, which are sleep disorders or any other mental health issue. So live mindful. Take a second of a break and practice mindfulness, a meditation or just a silence to just feel your whole body and try to learn from anything that happens in your life. 
try to learn and when you learn try to practice afterwards try to practice to see you know oh i feel this and i i think that it should make me feel feel better you know it might be an exercise it might be uh, a cooking lesson <laughs> it might be anything learn it practice it if you see even good manners or someone who carry themselves tell yourself that you can and finally always remember to love enough nothing is basically enough but just to love enough and to show it to the most of our capacities and to love as we talked about it earlier is to show that one cares the best possible way with boundaries not without boundaries because you might harm others knowingly or not but with boundaries try to satisfy your partners your friends in the best of your of your capacity and don't wait for anything because as we talked about it if you if you have if you start having expectations of people you start to break your heart basically because people are not here to live your life or to to be here to to answer to your expectations so love enough to converse and exchange so leave learn and love that was it for this series thank you again thank you very much thank you please share subscribe and review also you can follow us on instagram twitter and facebook at mv3 universe and until next time never forget you as unique as the universe peace be with you